the red-eyed tree frog, the most iconic species out of all the tree frogs and my favorite species of frog to keep. Now, as these guys are very beautiful, they are sensitive as well, and some may find it difficult to care for them in ca captivity. So today, we're going to talk about everything you're going to need to make sure your new guy is happy and healthy. So sit back, relax, and let's talk about how to care for the red-eyed tree frog. Now the first thing we're going to be talking about is the enclosure size. Whether you're housing one or multiple tree frogs, you're going to want a bare minimum of at least 10 gallons per frog. Personally, I'm keeping my pair in a 29 gallon aquarium just because I like having a little more space when talking about, you know, when you're cohabbing animals and I was able to do a little bit more with the 29 gallon vid, which we'll get into a little bit later into the video. Some other enclosures that I would recommend are the 12 by 12 by 18 zoom or exoterra enclosures for one frog or the 18 by 18 by 24 for two. So now that we have the enclosure done, let's talk about heat and humidity. Now, red-eyed tree frogs like the temperature during the day to be at least in the mid to upper 70s. Now, my reptile room stays at around 75 degrees, so I'm able to get away with not using any supplemental heating for them. However, if your room or wherever you're keeping your frog is lowers, you know, to the lower 70s, even maybe the high 60s, I definitely recommend getting uh, supplemental heat, something like a heat lamp or maybe a heat pad plugged into a thermostat. Now moving on to humidity, the red-eyed tree frog does come from a tropical area so you're going to want those humidity levels relatively high. I keep mine at a range from 65% to 85%. It is a bit of a broad range but let me explain. So red-eyed tree frogs do like it at the high humidity so during the night when they're awake I spray the tank once to make sure that humidity is around 80 to 90%. Uh, then during the day I allow it to go down to about 65%. In my opinion, it is important to have that humidity drop off. Keeping the animal too wet could allow the frog's skin to become too wet and invite some bacterial infections for it. So I always recommend having a bit of a drop off and then spiking it up during the night. Some good ways to help get that humidity level up to that 80% is going to be covering the top of your enclosure. So personally, I just did plastic wrap and duct tape, but some people do opt to use like aluminum tape on both sides or anything like that. As long as it's covered, it does the job. Uh, another good way is providing a deep moist substrate that's able to hold, hu or hold moisture very well. And then lastly, live plants. Before we talk about what we're going to be doing inside the enclosure, we need to brush up on some UVB. Now, UVB for the tree frogs is a bit of a controversial topic just because they're nocturnal. Some people say you don't need it. Some people say they do. Um, what I know is that every animal benefits from UVB just because wherever they are in the world, the sun is there. So I opt to just use a compact UVB bulb and I just kind of cycle it between my white tree frog and my red eyed tree frogs every couple of days. So we know what size enclosure to put your frog in, what levels of humidity and temperature they need, but the last thing we need to go over is how to decorate the enclosure. So of course, as in the name red-eyed tree frog, these guys are an arboreal species, so you're going to want things that they're going to be able to climb up and around onto. Things such as like sticks, branches, cork flats, cork rounds, just anything that they can go up. <laughs> he, he's hunting for bugs now, so you know, don't mind him. <laughs> Another great option, of course, is going to be live plants, and as you guys know on this channel, I am a huge advocate for bioactive, and live plants can help out for your frog in multiple ways. It's going to create something that they can climb around onto and rest on during the day, while also helping you keep those humidity levels at a higher rate than fake plants would use. I don't know, I struggled there for a second, but I got it. So we talked about how to care for the red-eyed tree frog, but now let's take a look at my enclosure. And here we are. So I just have my two guys sitting there, and then let me see if I can focus in on it. Uh, you can kind of see him, but the glare is pretty rough. He's right there. <laughs> so the enclosure is, of course, a 29 gallon. I did a custom background that I sealed with dry lock. Um, of course, the two lights are going to be the LED and then that 5.0 UVB compact bulb. For plants, I just used some ivy and then some different things of pothos. And I don't remember what that plant is, but it's not doing that well, so it doesn't really matter. And then I just filled it with some Mopani wood, cork flats, and then just some um, ghost wood. So as you guys can see, the pothos does very well in this enclosure and the tree frogs just love it. They're able to climb on the vines and around it and then sleep on the big leaves. 
Well guys, there you have it, how to take care of a red-eyed tree frog. I hope this video helps some of you, and as always, if you like the video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. If you want to see some more of my animals or breeding products, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at DBCB Exotics. And other than that, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.